well, what do we have here? Welcome back everybody to another episode of Subscribers Inspire Blooms for You. And as always, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And here is Sologeny Pandorata in full bloom, my first ever spike. And she blooms for all of my subscribers. And thank you so much for supporting the channel. At this present time, I cannot detect any fragrance whatsoever. It's been now five days that she's been open. There's one more bloom to go, but I thought this is as good a time as any to get her introduced to you, to dedicate her to you, and to say thank you. So let's go and see what else has been blooming or is still in bloom. And let's say more thank yous. It is coming full on summer here in the southern part of Spain on the Mediterranean coast. And guess who kicks off the summer blooming season with a bang? This is my Phalaenopsis Tabasuco Tex or Tabasco Tex, but as it is from Schwerter, the label says Tabasuco. So I'll go with that until I'm corrected. Y Gloria Estela Artis, eso es. Para ti este flor. Thank you so much for being so present on my channel. Thank you for your questions, for your support. I hope that I'm justifying you spending time watching my videos and yet you will continue to enjoy the content. I really appreciate having you here. You make my day when I see a comment from yours. And I do apologize if I can't get back to you straight away. I go back, double check, revisit, and eventually do get back to you. And I hope that's okay. But look at her. Here's another one that blooms on a sequential spike. So we have more buds to come. And a new bud has just developed on this brand new spike of the year down there to the left. But isn't she gorgeous? And she smells divine as well. She is a real, real trooper, starting off the summer season with these summer bloomers. Smells like um, Big Red. Again, spicy Skittles, something like that, with a hint of cinnamon and very, very strong. So, Gloria, thank you for everything. And I hope that you like her. This is Selemnia Midas, uh, Tolumnia on steroids or something like that, but very, very similar, no fragrance, blooming on two gorgeous spikes this year. And there are people in this world that have the Midas touch when it comes to growing many, many different plants as such, not just orchids, as is my case. So, Suli Charon. When I see your channel, when I see all your beautiful plants that you have, I think you have the Midas touch. So when she came in to spike, I had tagged her to dedicate her to you. So I've been moving around different locations, trying to get the color correct as with the camera. It was a bit difficult, but we found a spot. And I hope that you like her. Suli, thank you so much for being a subscriber. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. Your comments and everything. And I really enjoy your channel as well. So there it is. Selemnia Midas. She blooms for you. And all the little other bloom clusters are for your gorgeous family as well. No filter. I'm not doing any corrections but she glows. 
So I just wanted to show you why I went around the block several times to get her color filmed so that you could see. She literally has a golden glow about her, making it very difficult to capture on camera. But anyway, if you want like to have something like this, it's like a Tolumnia on steroids, then I can only recommend a little Zolimnia Midas. Once again, Suli, thank you so very, very much. This is my Phalaenopsis Pinkton Bronze Age, and she is from Schwerter. She is also in my preferred setup of Lecker and self watering. And this year she has two blooms. And based on my Schwerter video of my disappointed haul in 2018, I would like to dedicate these blooms to Vailara. Thank you so much for your comment on that video. Not that I like anybody getting a bad experience, honestly, but it gave me comfort because at sometimes I think I'm jinxed. But Vailara, thank you so much for being a subscriber. I really appreciate it. And for the reason of this one coming from Schwerter and blooming for me, I thought you might like her. And we can see that sometimes things turn around and there is a positive outcome. I do have to apologize, however, that I only can give you two blooms this year. Last year she bloomed with a full spike, but we had a really strange spring. And uh, I guess I left her in a place where there is a very cool draft. So that is my fault. She's a strong little plant. She grows well in this setup and she smells absolutely incredible. I like to say Skittles with spice, but it's more like a cinnamon with Skittles. I don't know. It's a very, very appealing fragrance and very strong. So Vailara, I think I should be speaking German to you, but I'm just going to leave it because your comment was in English. However, just a little bit on the end. Vielen herzlichen Dank, dass du bei mir auf dem Kanal bist. Es freut mich riesig. Ich bin dafür sehr dankbar. Und ich wünsche dir alles, alles Gute. Bis bald. I will not be allocating any prizes for guessing who this spike is dedicated to. Many of you in the Orchid YouTube community know that there's only one, to my understanding, only one subscriber YouTuber around with a name cat in it. And this is Odontocidium Wildcat Golden Red Star. And I just can't help myself but Beverly, aka Lucy the Cat, this one blooms for you. And as the sun is glaring very, very much, really, really washing out the colors, I'm just gonna go put her in the shade and let's have a look. And we have a very, very noisy bird joining in. Thank you so much, Beverly, for subscribing to my channel. It is absolutely a no-brainer in my eyes that my Wildcat Golden Red Star has to, has to be dedicated to you. And I'm really, really pleased that I can say this year is the first time that this spike, a spike, has ever branched for me. And I'm absolutely thrilled to bits. So I really appreciate your support on my channel, welcoming me in and being just so encouraging and giving such good feedback. I really appreciate it. So thank you very, very much and I'll see you on your next video. My first Lady Chatterley Bloom has opened. The first one of hopefully quite a few this season. There's already a second bud coming along in the back. 
So actually, this is the Phalaenopsis corn reserve, Chatala Day, and I call her Lady Chatterley, just because. You see that grin over there, that little smile on the lip with the two eyes? Yeah, Lady Chatterley has secrets, and that's why she has that smiley face. But all that aside, Becky Connor, this one is blooming for you. I hope that you have managed to settle back into your home to some degree, that you've managed to settle back your orchids and that some form of normality has kicked in again in your life. I sincerely send you a big smile from my corner survey variety Chatella Day and I hope that it brings a smile to your face and thank you so very, very much for being one of my subscribers. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yoshi. Yep, you. From plants and other things. Okay, here goes the wind. Can't win, can I? And now it's quiet in the neighborhood. I'm trying to dedicate my beautiful Dendrobium cerola to you. This is the first cluster, so we'll focus on that. There's more to come, but I want to dedicate this first cluster to you. And because I have so many, I really, really want to extend this dedication to your wonderful little totos. Totos being children in Swahili, but your children your family, everybody is represented in this gorgeous little cluster of my Dendrobium cerola. Not quite blue, but there's a lavender mauve kind of hint to it. The camera is not quite getting the color correct, but still, she's gorgeous. And she's not fragrant, but uh, a compact little pendant Dendrobium that I have hanging on my Dendrobium community mount together with Ceratolavium and, and a film. But yeah, Joshi, thank you so much for being on my channel, for commenting and being so supportive. And thank you for your lovely little family in your videos. Maybe when you have a moment, you can show them the blooms that are blooming for them here in Southern Spain. I really appreciate you, Yoshi. Enjoy your orchids. So I've been meaning to dedicate my little no ID Phalaenopsis here. My little mini one that we call Vega Cecilia in our home. And I've been trying to think who enjoys red wine. And I don't know because I don't know my subscribers well enough. So Martin Grimes, as a thank you for being here on my channel from very, very early days. If you're still watching, I hope that you like red wine because my little Vega Cecilia, I didn't want this spike to go without any dedication to anybody. She blooms for you. I hope that you don't mind a little no, no ID foul. It's nothing really what many would consider fancy, but I can't resist them. I find them extremely fancy and they are so cute. Despite no fragrance on this one, her color makes me want to open a bottle of wine, sit back and enjoy. So Martin, if you see this video, know that your presence on my channel is greatly appreciated. Thank you so very, very much. I don't think I need to volunteer any prizes for guessing who my gorgeous Paphiopetalum Lindley Kupovitz is dedicated to. Ed? A very massive thank you to you and all your valuable, valuable 
experience and information on your channel. If you like eaten mess, and I like eaten mess, and I like my eaten mess with raspberries, then that's her fragrance. I'm not entirely sure if she is fully opened, it's been a week, but I'm going to do this dedication to you now, simply because at any moment the temperature could drop or rise to an exorbitant stent and she is going to go down. So I'm not going to extend it and hope for the best. I'm just going to film her now. Say thank you so much to you for your support and for your support throughout YouTube. If it wasn't for you, I bet you she wouldn't have bloomed or thrived. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous path. Beautiful foliage, strong and healthy. And that is all down to you, Ed. Thank you ever so much. I really, really appreciate it. And that brings us to the end of this installment of Subscribers Inspire Blooms For You. Things are happening fast. It's gonna be hard to keep up with the filming so the posts may come a little bit later, but this is a pleasure, this is a joy, and I'm absolutely loving this series, being able to compile these gorgeous blooms as and when they happen, and giving them to all of you. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.